the holder of perfection. In any city, in any country, go to the oldest mental institution you can get yourself into. Upon reaching the reception desk, ask as politely as you can for the holder of perfection. Should the worker be offended by your tone, he will turn his expression into something you wish you hadn't seen. For when he leads you to the holder, you will not find him, but things better left unsaid. If, though, he nods politely, you're good for now. He will lead you to a black steel door, really different compared to the 1950s-ish style of the mental hospital. He will then touch your lips and say, Don't bleed out. If he says anything else, quickly strangle him to death and flee, unless you want a fate much worse than murder. If everything was done perfectly, though, by the time you look at the door again, it will be open, and you shall feel a weird, almost primal instinct that leads you in the dark, warm hallway that lies ahead. At first, you will find yourself walking towards pure darkness. After ten, or a hundred, or a thousand minutes of walking, you will start seeing dim lights from the end of the corridor. Your peripheral vision will start catching glimpses of windows on the walls of the hallway. Do not look at all costs, for if you look, you will see what you've always looked for, your own perception of perfection just a window away. Most people can't resist the urge to open the window and join the happiness. But the moment you step outside, the laughing children and the sunlight and the smiles will turn to dust, and from the dust will rise figures that will drive you insane with their mere appearance, before they even get a chance to touch your lips. If, however, you manage to reach the end, you'll face a small girl holding an earring. You won't be able to see her face. You better not. Touch your lip and check if it's bleeding. If it is, pray your death is swift. If it's not, kindly ask, were they evil before their mission? She will not answer for seconds, maybe minutes. But the moment she's about to lift her head and face you, close your eyes. Do not, I repeat, do not look at her face. You'll wish you had joined the people of the windows in the corridor, if you do. She will then hold your hand and scream so loud and with so many voices, so eerily and devilishly, you'll feel the urge to cut your ears off and burn your face. If you manage to survive the cry, she'll laugh playfully, almost as if she's mocking you, and let go of your hand. You can now open your eyes. If everything was done perfectly, you'll find yourself in a small, dark room. You won't be able to tell if there are walls. The only thing you'll be able to make out amidst the darkness will be a single mirror, lit from above by an unknown source of light. Do not dare to look anywhere else. Set your eyes only on the mirror, for if you do, the firestorms of hell will feel like a warm summer breeze compared to what their servants will do to you. In the mirror you will see the person you always wished you could be. Feel free to enjoy the sight. Ask again, were they evil before their mission? Your reflection will suddenly look like something satanic. You won't stand looking at your own face without throwing up and wanting to tear your lips off. Should you withstand the horror of the mirror, you will see the reflection of a beast, unbelievably grotesque and horrifying, smiling behind you, looking at your shoulder. Do not try to prepare yourself for what the beast will look like before you take the trial because its appearance is a thousand times worse than the vilest and most bewildering image your human mind can create. You'll be able to feel its breath on your hair if you have any left. 
It will then explain every single detail of the bad side of the human nature, the deeds you're meant to do. He will convince you that you are, in fact, the monster you saw in the mirror before. When he's done, if your wits are still about you, his thin black lip will start bleeding lightly. Should you see your own lip bleeding as well, feel free to comfort yourself, because what fate has prepared for you is worse than every travesty in the history of the world. If, however, your lips are still intact, close your eyes. You'll instantly fall asleep and wake up in a matter of seconds in your bed. The mirror will be on the corner of your room, facing the wall. Do not ever turn it around. Legion didn't. The mirror is object 981 of 2538. Perfection is not always what you should wish for.